What is that? You are big pump. Uh, another new creature around here. Not a bad setup so far. I like that the uh, reversing valve is in front of the compressor right here in this big compartment. It's got some diagnostic lights, which you could see from the outside when it is running. Gonna flash off. So, uh, I guess the building maintenance already fixed it probably yesterday and they put in a warranty request. There. So they had a fault for uh, low water temperature, low temperature one fault, which would be flashing the yellow light and the other two lights being off. So it's pretty cool. Let's get the little diagnostics. All right, there on the outside, we can see it. We've got the OEDs right here. Didn't even have to take the cover off. So they changed the air filter that was dirty yesterday. So that would explain the low temperature fault. I don't know. So I'm just taking a gander at this unit. I'm taking the pressure readings. R410 refrigerant. Running 273 over 103. I got my temperature probes on the water line. It's not real feasible to get to the liquid line and the suction line without pulling off some insulation. So I'm just taking the pressures. So they must be running their cooling tower. <laughs> pretty low 59 degrees now it was 60 so the water temperature in it is 59 degrees and it's rising to 82 which is nothing really we go to the uh, AC mode and see what the conversion factor is uh, superheat sub cooling ain't gonna count because that's water temperatures I've those probes on but you see that the coil is running at 33 degrees 89 Seems to be plenty happy. This size compressor is that is the 5 ton. That's 130 off the shelf, Copeland. 5 ton, 3 phase. Uh, we're doing 460 volt. That is. Looks like a big 600 volt uh, disconnect right there. Focus. 460. 460 volt unit, which most of the commercial stuff we deal with is in this area. I don't think there's going to be anything wrong with this unit. It does have a circuit board. You know, we've been getting a lot of different brands that have been starting to go in around here. The water source he pops up. Some Bosch units. Uh, there's an Aon unit that's I've been working at. This one place has a couple hundred of them. And getting a lot of issues with those being overcharged from the factory and yeah, that could be a video in itself um, kind of sensors. it looks like this is kind of like the Aon where they have water temperature sensor uh, and uh, probes air temperature sensors stuff like that those bells and whistles could be great and also a pain in the ass if they uh, the design sucks, you know, with all these sensors that are plugged in here. I think these wires right here are my remote LEDs. Looks like. And so, got another harness somewhere for all the, uh, oh, it's probably right here. Yeah. There's your high and low pressure. Reverse and valve. And these two little black wires going together. That would probably be a temperature sensor right there. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty interesting see how it goes when it comes time to actually do anything. Water heat exchanger is back behind that blanket right there. Everything's wrapped <laughs> with the insulation, foam insulation. So we got a pressure relief port right there. Soft solder. I guess in case uh, <laughs> you know, just vent right inside the unit if a uh, high pressure switch fails. Controlled explosion. sucks and you have to get to these things above the t-grid so anyway that's that that's pretty much those uh, heat pumps pretty interesting